Summary Nicole defended herself against accusations of homophobia but failed to acknowledge the issue, causing tension at the reunion. Chelsea revealed that she hasn't spoken to Cassandra since the office party, casting doubt on Cassandra's future at the Oppenheim Group. The agents at the Oppenheim Group receive a 50 to 70 percent commission split, with the twins arguing that their reputation makes up for the lower split. Selling Sunset Season 7 was so filled with twists and turns that a reunion was called for, and shocking revelations were made during the episode. Hosted by Queer Eyes Tan France, the women of the Beverly Hills office, alongside a brief appearance from agents from Selling the O.C., didn't hold back from addressing the drama of the previous seasons. Not even Jason and Brett Oppenheim were spared, though Brett, as usual, came out relatively unscathed. There was a long list of drama and fights from Selling Sunset Season 7. Chriselle Staus and Nicole Young may never lay their feud to rest, Chelsea Lascani can't stop offending Brie TC, and Amanda Smith lost money and friendship due to a video message to Chriselle. Meanwhile, Jason and Marie Lou Nurk's relationship became strained because of Chriselle, and Mary and Roman Bonnet tragically lost a pregnancy. With so much to unpack, it's no wonder the reunion went off the rails. One Nicole defending her homophobic comments close selling sunset release date March 21, 2019 main genre reality TV One of the first explosive moments occurred when Nicole defended herself, claiming she wasn't homophobic after she liked and responded to the Instagram comment, I was hoping the lesbian chick was off in Australia this season and not on our screens. Whatever her name is, I forgot. Nicole you look great. While Nicole simply said she was responding to the fans' support, not to address the homophobia wasn't a great look. This interaction and more prompted Chriselle to tell Nicole at the reunion that she hates her. Two Chelsea revealed she hasn't spoken to Cassandra since the office party close, Chelsea got quite friendly with Cassandra Don, a former Playboy model turned real estate agent, much to the chagrin of her nemesis, Brie. However, Chelsea said she hadn't spoken to Cassandra since the office party. While there was speculation Cassandra would join the Oppenheim group, her closest O-group pal not talking to her in months doesn't bode well for her potential at the most coveted real estate agency in Los Angeles. Free the Oppenheim Group only gives agents a 50 to 70 percent split for in her heated conversation with Jason, Brie addressed the commission split at the Oppenheim Group. While she was used to a 90 tenth split, Jason maintained a staunch stance on the split at the O Group, which he maintained at the time was 80 twentieths. However, at the reunion, it was revealed that the agents receive anywhere between a 50-50 and 70-30th split, depending on how long they've been there and their standing at the brokerage. The twins argued that their reputations and listings make up for the lesser split. Five Marie Lou and Jason's break up six after all the drama on Selling Sunset Season 7, Marie Lou and Jason aren't even together anymore. They broke up in May 2023, and Jason said he's currently dating a woman from Vancouver who will turn 30 in just a few weeks. Marie Lou turned up to try to insult and embarrass Chriselle, who wasn't having it. 7. Chriselle and G. Flip are taking steps to have a baby Chriselle revealed that she and G. Flip had already renewed their vows. When asked if she and G. were taking steps to become parents, Chriselle answered honestly that she and her spouse were embarking on the journey. While she couldn't give any more details, it's exciting that amidst all the drama, Chriselle will hopefully become a mother.
8. Krishel doesn't trust Amanza 9 in a fun twist. Tan called in a polygraph expert to test the O group's truthfulness. While asking some innocuous questions, there were also some zingers thrown in. After Amanza's video message and meddling in her fellow agent's business this season, it was clear the pair tried to make amends. However, when Chriselle was asked if she trusted Amanza and said yes, the polygraph expert detected a lie. Tan Jason might still be in love with Chriselle similarly, when Jason was asked if he was still in love with Chriselle and answered that no, he wasn't in love, a lie was detected. His love for Chriselle must be excruciating now that she's so happy with G Flip, and they're pursuing having a baby together. Chriselle and Jason had a happy relationship, but Jason didn't want to have children, and becoming a mother was important to Chriselle. 11 Amanda and Jason once hooked up 12 Jason has seemingly dated half his office by now, so much so that his history has become a joke. However, when asked if he had slept with anyone else from the O group, and he said no, Chelsea detected a lie. Without even being hooked up to the lie detector, Amanda admitted to having kissed and hooked up with Jason. The pair have been friends for over two decades, which was Amanza's defense. 13 Selling the OC's Tyler blocked Alex Hall on Instagram The Selling the OC cast briefly appeared in a bizarre cut. Aside from Brandy Marshall and Alex Hall's brief spat, the main tea the cast spilled was Tyler Staniland's departure from the OC office. He left to work for his father, a real estate mogul in his own right, and blocked Alex on social media in the process. While the two had an ongoing flirtationship in selling the OC, it appears any possible relationship on their part has sailed. 14. Chriselle and Amanza's feud is ongoing close, lastly, while it would seem Chriselle and Amanza would be two of the more amenable agents in the office, their feud is ongoing. The pair engaged in an on-screen spat regarding payment for G Flip's project that never came to fruition, with Amanza feeling shorted and Chriselle asserting her dominance. The women clearly want to be friends but have some deep-seated issues that need to be worked out off-screen. While not the most shocking revelation of the day, it is the most disheartening. Hopefully, these Oppenheim Group mainstays can resolve their issues before selling Sunset Season 8. Source. Nicole Young, Instagram Selling Sunset Release Date. The 21st of March 2019 main genre, reality TV seasons, 5 summary, the reality TV series Selling Sunset showcases the operations of the Oppenheim Group as they navigate the high-end, high-stakes real estate game of Los Angeles, West Hollywood, and Newport Beach. The show explores both the personal and professional lives of the real estate agents as they buy and sell properties worth millions of dollars. Creator. Adam DeVello Number of Episodes. 4-5.